shaking in Indianapolis community. Six people killed inside a northeast side home over the weekend. City leaders expressing their anger at this senseless show of violence. I want those responsible to know that the full might of local, state, and federal law enforcement are coming for them. Less than a day after making that promise for justice, Cyan PD delivered. A 17-year-old family member now behind bars accused of carrying out those killings. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid went back to North Adams Street to get new details about the crime and that teenager's arrest. Police tell me it was a family argument in the middle of the night that led to mass murder here on Adams Street on the city's northeast side and a pursuit of a suspect across county lines. Police say a juvenile killed six family members inside this house just before dawn Sunday, including a pregnant woman and an unborn baby at near full term. Shortly before 4 a.m., police found a wounded teenager in the 3300 block of East 36th Street. When he got to the hospital, according to an IMPD report obtained by Fox 59 News, that teen told police his brother had killed everyone. When police returned to North Adams Street, they found the five bodies in the home. The sixth victim was the near full-term baby boy, 19-year-old Kiara Hawkins, who died along with parents Kezi and Raymond Childs and their children, Elijah and Rita. According to the IMPD report, the survivor who ran for his life said his older brother got in trouble for going on Saturday night, and when he returned home Sunday morning, Raymond Childs told his son they would deal with this later. Sometime later, when the child said he heard gunshots upstairs and his sister's voice yelling that they were being shot, the teen said his brother came downstairs where he was with his parents and started shooting. There's a set of unique facts that uh, our detectives uncovered during their investigation that uh, point us fairly quickly in the direction of this young man. As relatives gathered on Adams Street Sunday morning, IMPD detectives were tracking down the older brother. That we did receive information from the community, from neighbors, uh, from people that were uh, concerned about what happened. Overnight, the older teen was tracked to an address in Plainfield and arrested. We have a serious problem in our community with people who do not know how to deal with their conflict except with a gun or a blade. As is typical when a juvenile is charged in a capital case, he will most likely be waved over to Superior Court to face adult charges. On the northeast side, Russ McQuaid, Fox 15. Okay, so y'all just heard that story right there. And let me, before, before I get into it, um, let me offer my condolences to any family or friends and associates of the people that you see in this picture. Yes, all four of these people were murdered by one person. And that one person was the son of the two parents who the, the dad is the one in the black on the right picture and the mother is the one on the far left in the picture on the left. And the two right there, the girl, a young lady and the um and the young man were siblings both murdered. And I think that I think the girl or um the nineteen year old, I think she was the one that was pregnant. N almost to full term. So her and her unborn child are both dead, which they have considered which they have thrown in as one of the victims. So this person went and now they haven't identified the uh the murdered the suspect. They haven't identified him because they said that they're a minor. They're 17, so they didn't identify them as of yet. But some tells me that mugshot will be coming soon, and so will that name. Murdered the entire family because he went out when he wasn't supposed to, and he got into it with his dad. Like they said, him and his dad got into a shouting match, an argument, whatever you want to call it. And then he got he ran and got a gun came back downstairs and started firing off on all of them and killed all of them. He literally slaughtered. If he didn't kill all of them, he damn near his entire family. Cause I think I was reading in the article where it said one of them is currently in the hospital with injuries. Um, but they didn't get killed in the shooting, but he killed his whole family because he went out when he, he did what he was not supposed to do and got mad because his dad got on him about it. These I don't know what's going on with these crop with this crop of teenagers in early 20 year early 20s, a 20 years of age individuals. Remember, I just did a story about that PC boy down in Florida who killed his mother over bad grade. He got sentenced to 45 years in jail. 
I just did one about that other one who got upset at his mother because she told him to go get, a, go get a job and he shot her in the head. And now you have this one right here who's upset at his parents because they told him not to go somewhere and he got into an argument with his dad and then he just came downstairs and started popping off on every last person he saw. He killed his... I couldn't even imagine being in the family's shoes right now. And I'm talking about the ones that, you know, were family to this family right here. To find out that not only was your family murdered in that fashion, but also to find out who did it. Someone that has been around you, someone who you have embraced. That would that's that would be the more shocking thing besides the fact that they in the way that they were killed or that they were killed at all. All because you did what you weren't supposed to be doing. I don't know what it is with this crop of people in Gen Z, because this is Gen Z we're talking about here for the most part. I don't know what's going on with their emotions, but they are on another planet somewhere. They're in another alternate reality. When you have to go to this extreme and kill your family because they were being parents. Again, it also makes me wonder, like I'm going to say this and I said in the other video. Was this kid spoiled? I, I don't want to believe that he was considering he had other siblings. But so did that other one that I talked about, because I think they, they said she had eight kids. So it's a possibility people can be spoiled while having siblings, especially if that they're if they're the younger child. But then any child could be spoiled if you allow them to be spoiled. Now, not again, I have to give a disclaimer, not saying that they spoiled their son or everything like that. I'm sure they gave him everything that they felt that he wanted and or needed. But at the slightest hand, when they say no. A spoiled child does not like hearing no, whenever they hear no, they'll either rebel or they'll get into it with you. And he did. And apparently he did both. He rebelled and went anyway and then got mad when he got caught. And unfortunately, it cost the lives of his entire family for the most part. They're going to throw the book at him, too, just like the one I just recently did. They're throwing the book at him. You heard him. They said they're going to move it and upgrade it to adult charges. And he's only 17, so he doesn't have long before he turns 18. Unless he just turned 17 within the last couple of weeks, which something tells me he did not. It's it's a wrap for him. He has charges attached to him for every person that he killed, including that unborn child. Fleeing the scene is the least charge he will get hit with. He has multiple murder charges attached to his name. I already see life in prison going to be stamped right there on the table. I see it. I can't see him getting anything less than that. Honestly. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please text the number that is pinned down in the comments below so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video. And I'll talk to you in the next one.